Dude, this is so cool. Oh. What? <laughs> See, in the last episode, this is where we were at as a cat. Molly climbed out that way. Or the cat. Climbed this will be obvious way. later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Huh. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, okay. when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Oh, so that's why she was a kitten at first. Maybe a kitten. I spent a lot of right time away. in Great Grandma Edie's room. So Her room was like a museum. Odin. This is her. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. Norway. And misfortune. Oh, that's Odin. Which is Edie's father, was it? I'm not sure. Damn, look at this. Look at how beautiful this is, dude. This, this is probably going to be the thumbnail. Like, damn, bro. That looks so nice. Okay. Oh, his TV. Edie gave a big interview oh, about a mole man living under the Finch house. Mm. My mom was furious. Mole man. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Edith Jr. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. Okay, Edie won't go. Like, there's so many, like, personalities in these in this house, you know? Like, in that other house, you can tell it's a kid's house, and she liked all those things. And, built 1937, Sven Finch. Sven built the house. When Edie okay. told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. She didn't. It sounds cooler that way. Dragon kills Finch. So they're from Norway. Uh, Even in their 90s. Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. That's a nice photo. Whoa, is this... Is this carpet? Oh, look at that. She still has her glasses and stuff in here. It's like as if she never left. Wow. Toothbrush, makeup, and the stuff. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife, Kay, left on the house was the pink bathroom. Yeah, well, what's the point of this? It was a pretty big trace. Wouldn't this be a bit weird, considering it's a bathroom and you got carpet on it? I don't know, probably just me. Ah, oh, here we go. There's a secret in the bathroom by Sven and Edie Finch. Oh, it's Sven There's her. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Oh. Huh. Oh, wow. Calvin Finch, 1950-1960. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. It really took all this time, all this time and effort just to lock these things. Like, it's a bit of a waste of effort, energy, don't you think? Oh, there we go. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Milton. It's a swing. Oh, what is this? Is this Milton's room? Oh, I don't like that sound. They're creepy. No, I'm gonna lie with you. Wow, look at this. It's a bedroom. This is a nice bedroom, dude. A bit messy. You know, they should have practiced a bit more. I don't know, this I knew Grandpa Sam had know. a twin. And that Grandpa's he never talked about him. The command center. We got a command center? I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is so cool. Ground control to Beige Chitom. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. 
The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. That was it. Oh, he broke his leg. Get your leg broke. Oh, we're actually swinging? Bruh. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. So he's dead. At Barbara's funeral, he oh, said there we go. he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. Oh, I need to use both sticks. Oh, let's I go. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Oh. Sam! Calvin! Get us ready! No. Coming! But that no. day, I he have finally dinner. made up his mind to do it. Made up his mind to do what? I told him going around was impossible. Oh, you think? I'll prove you wrong. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Oh my god, dude. Oh, we're gonna do three, six, five. Oh. I'm not gonna tell you again. Maybe if the oh. wind hadn't picked up. Oh, oh. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt. Oh, <laughs> the two, three, six, three. I think he'd already made up his mind. Let's go. <laughs> That's what I want to remember about my brother. Oh. Dude, this is so cool. Oh. What? Oh. oh. Let's go. The day he made it to the fly. What? And he did. Dude. Again, I got goosebumps again. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. I, I got goosebumps from that dude. That is so cool. I, I like how they changed the depth, depth of the camera. It was like After 180. The and then, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. I mean, it was 90, then 180. That is so cool, dude. Oh, this is so Mom sad. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Grandpa Sam? Oh, let's go this way. Dude, that, that, that one about the... That one about the swing was pretty cool. were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. It's this way. Uh, so this is the whole way. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. Bigfoot and Barbara. This is Barbara Finch. I never thought about Barbara. how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Yep. Barbara Finch. Dreadful stories. Of all cents. the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. So old Jack here. Old Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. Wow, so people actually wrote about this? As a child script. star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has been. Dude, this but is this a lucky messed break, up. She'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just a boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <coughs> Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick. 
is about to demonstrate when... <laughs> now Jeez, that bro. was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Walter. The convention comeback was cancelled. <laughs> okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... I came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. Twenty minutes later, so that he never came back again. Hadn't returned. <gasps> so Barbara went to look for him, right on cue. Okay. She reached for the music box. And okay, she we're... wound the key. She listened for it, but the house was silent. Okay. Okay, this is a bit creepy. Am I gonna get jump scared? Found Rick's crutch and imagine oh. the worst. What is that? Oh, can I hit people with this? Oh hell yeah, let's go. Dude, this is so creative, dude. Oh, you can hit stuff. Yo, boxes. The gang's leader is the infamous Hookman Killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. Okay. Oh. Just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm uh -oh. not what an scared, asshole, dude. I'm furious. Oof. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you're... Oh. She threw him out. <laughs> but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it. And she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Picture show. Later. Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Oh. Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Oh, dude. Oh, I can't wait. I'm actually playing. Walter. Walter, are you there? Oh my god, I'll tell me this is gonna be a fucking jump scare, dude. Walter vanished. But his bedside radio was still on. Orca's Island police describe the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. Oh no! Barbara. I've returned. Saw the hook man. And was speechless. He was quite smashing. Let's go. He couldn't get enough of Barbara. Okay, Barbara. There's got to be another way out of here. Fuck you, dude. Not today. <laughs> I had to. Okay. I did it. Oh. That night, she played her part beautifully. Oh, we gotta knock him out. Knock his ass. Look, we're at Molly's room.
hit his ass. Fuck you, dude. Come on, let's go. Oh. Oh. He wasn't moving, but she sensed this story might not be over yet. Come on, let's beat his ass, bro. Where's the gun at? Are you? Oh. Had vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was. Uh, that's her parents, and they're back, right? At the door, she heard whispering. From inside the house. Oh, <gasps> it's oh, behind you. <gasps> oh dear. Oh. What did they come from? It was a dream come true. Then she saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going oh. to be famous. Oh. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. Uh. I like how she looks happy. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. What? And little Walter? Hiding under this his bed dull. the whole time. He took wow. it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. What? Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Get it because eerie and it's an ear. So they cut her ear and that's why it's hilarious. Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw wow. was a happy ending. Wait, so that's an actual story like Barbara got murdered in this house or something. Typewriter? This looks so cool. I like how... Look, you can read every single book on here. It's how much effort they put on these rooms. Barbara. Oh, uh, look at that. The Hollywood thing, but it says Barbara. Okay. Actually, I'm going to end this episode right here because I feel like this has gone long enough. We've done two stories. We've done Calvin and Barbara, and I think that was really cool. At least, I really like those two stories. I like how Barbara's stories... Barbara's story was delivered, and I like how Calvin's, like, Calvin's was just really cool, I really liked that one, no one, like, it really captured the whole, the whole act of swinging, like, that was really cool, I, this is a great episode, so if you guys enjoyed, please give this video a like, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more, your r ratings and it's feedback, funny. all those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key, your feedback really means a lot to me, so it would just really mean a lot to me if you, you know, give me feedback and still remain watching because I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this game so far. So, please, please, All right? I'll see you tomorrow with a new episode of What Remains of Edith Finch, and I hope you have an awesome day. Goodbye.